New faces, new committees, and plenty of new issues, but no new balance of power. The new Congress convenes in January, and while there is plenty of work to be done, there are some new players in the game as well. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trenum, and I'm joined by Caitlin Huey Burns, reporter for Real Clear Politics. Caitlin, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. So we heard all of the debates over the last two years. We heard about the billions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of money being spent uh, in the past election. But the Congress looks almost exactly the same, especially in the House, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and we have the same leaders on both sides. Nancy Pelosi will lead the Democrats. Uh, John Boehner will lead um, the <laughs> Speaker, the of, the speaker House. of the House and and give or take about 10 or so seats um, Republicans kept their majority of their big large majority uh, in the House of Representatives is there any new agenda items that we should be looking at in this new Congress the 113th by the way well we have the the fiscal cliff uh, that's hopefully. looming that's, that's no question looming. about it and that a lot of that policy will be carried on uh, into the next Congress but there's also been talk about um, taking up immigration reform for example uh, though the, there might be some some um, uh, uh, energy, for example, might be taken up in, in smaller bits and not this, you know, bigger um, cap and trade bill that we saw last time. Um, so those are two things that I would look for. In addition to economic policy, tax reform, uh, Republicans are trying to make that a big issue in, in the next Congress. Caitlin, every new Congress, as you know, has uh, new faces and new players, if you will. Um, given the fact that this new Congress almost looks the same, Will there be any new players that we should take a look at? Obviously, yes. Paul Ryan um, yes. was the vice presidential pick on the Republican side. Can we see yes. him playing a larger role? Y yes, and he'll be back as the budget chairman uh, in the next Congress. And so he has been in these meetings talking about um, how to to work out the, some kind of fiscal cliff deal. So sure. he'll be a player there. We have some, some new senators as well who will be interesting to watch. Elizabeth Warren, for example, just won. Democrat a, from Massachusetts. Democrat from Massachusetts just won a highly competitive a Republican held seat um, and there's there's word that we got this week that she'll be serving on the banking committee that makes which sense. is what she wanted and, Clearly. and exactly and for the benefit of our viewers at home Elizabeth Warren was the consumer advocate that ran yes. against Scott Brown uh, Republican of Massachusetts yes uh, in Virginia we have Tim Kaine um, who former Democratic National Committee chairman but also ran on a uh, economic platform talking about fiscal responsibility and he's a Democrat so we'll see him very active in 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 um, sure. in some of these issues as well, Caitlin. In the minute or so we have left, um, can we see anything changing as it relates to this divided government? One could make the argument that this is what the American people wanted. They wanted obviously a Democrat in the White House, Republican-controlled um, House, Democratic-controlled Senate, or can we see perhaps maybe more compromise because the American people said that's exactly what we want, more compromise. I guess my question is, should we see more divided government or more compromise over the next year? Well, if any of these talks over the fiscal cliff have been any indication, it's it's going to still be tough. I mean, you can't just expect everybody to all of a sudden get along and, and, and work together on, on these but kinds of issues. But isn't that what they're paid to do, but though? That's, and that's <laughs> what, what, Republic, uh, what voters said in a lot of these exit polls, that they elect to a divided Congress for a reason. Now, a, because a lot of the same members are returning, I think we'll see um, the same kind of dynamic. But we're also we also saw um, in, in a couple people who lost seats were moderate. Uh, members like Scott Brown for example exactly um, and a couple people on on the house side a couple really moderate Democrats lost to some more conservative Republicans so I think we'll, we might see an even bigger divide there all right so in other words more to come is pretty much more of the same yes I all think right so. Caitlin thank you very much for joining us Thanks really appreciate it me. and of course thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers I'm Robert Trainum. have a great day everybody we'll see you next time take care bye-bye